Here's another great science experiment you can do at home. All you need is cornstarch, also called corn flour, a bowl, preferably a tray to avoid making too much of a mess, and some water. What I'm going to do is add a good clump of cornstarch to my bowl, and then slowly I'm going to add water. And you might have done things that look similar to this before. It looks a lot like flour, which you might have come across when baking. But cornstarch behaves very differently once it's mixed with the water. Yeah, this is working well. So, we're familiar with how liquids behave already. We know that we can pour them into containers. They spread out as much as they can. But this is somewhere in between. So I'm going to pick up a clump. And if you see, it's very weird. It's very goopy. If I just show you from the other camera, I can still pour this mixture. It moves. However, when I apply pressure to it, it behaves as almost like a solid. It locks up. And this is quite difficult to gather a lot. I'll have a go and try form a ball that should then melt in my hand. You have to sort of gather slightly solid clumps together and then you keep applying pressure to it and then it melts. So Uh, it's best experienced by actually feeling it for yourself. And the reason why it's behaving weirdly is uh, it's not a normal fluid. When we dissolve something like sugar in water, it dissolves. You have then a liquid, the solid has gone. But for this, for this case, when I uh, mix the water and the cornstarch it actually forms something called a suspension and this suspension is a type of non-Newtonian fluid and what this means is unlike most fluids when I apply a pressure it behaves more like a solid if I put my hand in a bucket of water and close my fist quickly the water will move out of the way with this stuff, I apply pre pre uh, with this stuff, I apply pressure and close my hand quickly, and it forms a solid ball. Mm -hmm.